Hey guys, it's Light here, and today we're going to be breaking down concept art shown in the newest Starfield video. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like, it massively helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. If you are new around here, consider subscribing to stay up to date on Starfield, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, news leaks and content. Also, we're hoping to hit 600 subscribers here soon, so your support would be greatly appreciated. With that said and done, let's jump straight into the video. So yesterday, Bethesda released a new Into the Starfield video talking about music and the score of the game, but they did release a few new pieces of concept art for the game, so let's take a look and break it down. So firstly we do see this image here which we have actually already seen before. It's very clearly a spaceship hovering over some kind of crater. A few people in the Bethesda community believe that this is an indication of manual spaceflight, but I don't really see how it is, so let's move on. On next we have this really stunning piece here, and my god this gets me so fucking excited dude. If this is what dungeons and caves look like in Starfield, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. We do see these little spike things here, this could be indication of some kind of tree life forms, as some of them don't appear to actually be attached to this giant tree. Obviously this does look like it's some kind of underground forest, although I suppose it could be just a very dark forest above ground. And we also have these little plant things here which kind of look like sperm cells, but anyway, I'm actually wondering if this is a creature right here. I can't really tell, but I thought I would put it out anyway, it's probably just some kind of tree. There's also some kind of little floating bubbles around here, which is kind of cool. And then obviously we see our little player character here, so there's that. Next we see this piece of concept art here, which again we have seen before. This dude does appear to be wearing some kind of metal suit. I've said for a while I believe that this could be an advanced combat or flight suit, kind of like Starfield's version or Fallout's power armor, but I guess we'll see. And next we have this new piece of concept art, which is very clearly the inside of a ship. It looks like it could be our ship, but again I'm unsure. This door here looks like it is going to lead to the outside, which is why it's so like heavy if that makes sense you know it's not a regular door and of course we see the first aid pack on the wall here which we've seen many times before in concept art and even in the trailer i believe this will be starfield's version of elder scrolls health potions and fallout stim packs Next we see this new piece of concept art of these two planets, which looks really cool. The terrain on this planet kind of looks like the same terrain of the planet we see in this piece of concept art, so I'm wondering if it's actually the same planet. It also looks like it could be a Keeler, but who knows. Next we do see this really cool piece. You can obviously see our player character here with these weird plant things all over the ground here. You can also see some other dude walking away in the distance here. Besides that, there isn't really much to see. Obviously there is a planet in the background too. And next we see this piece of concept art here. I'm actually planning to do an entire video on this one, but for now I'll just say it looks like it could be some kind of colony. Perhaps this is even evidence of a fallout settlement type of building system, like many of us believe will actually be in Starfield. There is this weirdly shaped building over here which looks kind of cool. Also the sunset slash sunrise here gives me really big Tatooine vibes, so I'm always down for that. And next we see this piece here, I believe this could be an underwater cave in the planet Neon because of the amount of water we see pouring through the cave. This is really cool. I've said since Neon was confirmed that I really hope there's a lot of water exploration, if that makes sense, and I think that this kind of confirms it, so there's that. Next we do see this piece here, which is kind of odd. What I mean is it looks completely different to all of the other concept art we've seen. But hey man, if I can sit on my spaceship's bed looking at the view listening to in-game music, count me in. We also see this new piece here, which looks like it's some kind of underground landing pad. I think this could possibly be an underground facility for the United Colonies or even the Free Star Collective, but obviously that is just speculation, I have no idea. And finally, we see this new piece of a spaceship, which appears to be flying into a planet's atmosphere, which is cool. Not really anything super interesting to point out here. And that's all of it. Guys, as of the time of recording, we are officially only 198 days away from playing Starfield. I genuinely don't think I've ever been so excited for a game before. I love Bethesda and I've always loved space, so this game gets me so excited on every single level. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of this Starfield concept art in the comments below. Also, if there's any Starfield related topics you want me to discuss, let me know in the comments and I might just do it. 
Again, if you did enjoy today's video, please do hit like, it only takes a second and it really does help me out. Bethesda Starfield Showcase is in less than two months anyway, I believe, so if you're looking to stay up to date on Starfield coverage, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.